Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake, editor in chief of MyGamer.com. Today I am playing Ara. Ara? Aria? Ari? Maybe it's Ari. Ari and the Crystal Comet. I'm from MyGamer.com. You can check my blog out at SquallSnake.com. And on Twitter, at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. I just started playing this game and I got on this cool ledge and I figured, well, let's do a quick stream just to kind of demonstrate the gameplay. And this is some type of a. You can't die, essentially a flying simulator where you get this dragon thing and you just fly around and so far I've just been collecting gems, not really sure what to do. I talked with some kind of a pink stone that was like, hey, we need your help. You're the only person in this land that can help us. Ari, I guess, is the character that you play as and the controls are pretty terrible. Unfortunately, because otherwise I think this might be kind of a cool game just to like fly around and enjoy. This is that eyeball thing that I was telling you about right here. And there's a way to even simplify the controls it says in the options, but I tried both configurations and they're both like flying a tank through the sky. The other thing that sucks is when you fly, you have the option to invert the camera, but not when you're just on foot. And that sucks because I'm an inverter, so this game is pr almost pretty much unplayable to me when I'm on the ground here. I can't really easily adjust the camera because up is up and down is down, and I am a reverser because that's how it should be, and if you play otherwise, you're wrong. So I don't know why that's not an option, you know, with any third-person or first-person game these days. So clearly this was made by a small team. It's another East Asia Soft title. You know, I think this game, I want to say, costs probably five bucks or something like that. And like a lot of the other East Asia Soft games. What is this? Can I talk to this thing? There are other, there's like armor upgrades or something I saw. This, maybe this isn't anything. And let's just, you, t you hit A to take to the skies. And then it kind of just like keeps flying up and up. And I think it would be kind of cool... If you can control better, like if it was more responsive, like a Star Fox. There was another game that I played and reviewed, maybe it was a couple years ago now, it was a game called Feather. And you just play as a, like I think maybe it's an eagle. And there is no objective, you just fly around and... When you play the Xbox version, there was achievements, but it, you know there was no objective or point in that game. No way to die, no way to lose, but it's just... Here's this really big open environment fly around and just kind of like soar and have a good time you don't really need to do anything that you know simple music and everything like that kind of relaxing music and luckily i found that the b button if you hold it down sprints so without that you would have to just chug along the ground let me see if i can i'm gonna grab this crystal if i hit okay here if you hit x you can hop off and you, there's ara aria whatever and so like again up is up down is down and that is really throwing me off with the camera kind of really bad animations right here but again it's low budget it's probably made by one guy who's in college or something i'm guessing let's r see how long it takes to run across the camera's wobbly too run across this bridge to get that pink crystal thing holding down the b button to dash and then if you fall, I'll fall off this bridge after I get this crystal. You don't commit suicide. After a while, they, she just kind of releases this parachute glider thing. Okay. Let's jump off the bridge. We, oh, and then you hit A, she free falls. You can swim in the water. You get an achievement for just like going in the water too. And then if when you land, when you get close to the ground, it like, it doesn't let you splat. And then when you get close to the ground, you hit an X, or, excuse me, Y. And then the, where is my, there he is. So you kind of like calling your horse or something in Skyrim. Your dragon comes to you when you hit the whistle button. Let's get back on the dragon. Uh, X, okay, yeah, X gets on the dragon, and then you hit A to take off. And if you hit start, I mean, this looks like a pretty huge map. Nothing is highlighted. There are supposed to be some races, but I haven't gotten that far yet. It has a mouse interface. I haven't gotten any upgrades either. 
Don't know what that symbol's for. Here's some armor. I haven't found any of that. And here's the option. So you can just see invert vertical while flying is the only option that's available here. And you can play in a few different languages. So that's kind of disappointing. But there's not always an invert option. And then if you hit the right trigger, you can fly a little faster. There's a... There's a uh, let's see if I can land. Hop off my guy here. Grab this thing if I can get up there. A jumps. So you can jump when you're on the ground. Sorry, the camera. I'm trying to do the, <laughs> the best I can. Let's see if this thing is reactive. Oh, you can do it when you're on foot. You found a new piece of armor, neck plate steel. Okay. So I wonder if this gets checked off on the... Oh, yeah, see? I think that's me. Okay, so I found one of these before, but I was on my... The dragon, so I could not... Okay, now I know. I got an achievement. Find one piece of armor. Yeah, you can see my dragon just kind of... Let's see if he... I gotta go jump all the way over there. So yeah, simple music. Game's just made of big polygons. <laughs> no water effects. But that's how you get the big landscape. And kind of no popping. So I mean, you can see way out into the distance, which is pretty nice. I'm not flying very good. It's the controls. Yeah, I wish it was a little more responsive with the flying. It's pretty, pretty tight, pretty tough. Oh, there's a thing there. Maybe, okay, that's an, I saw one of those before. I just did a, I just landed on my head. All right, let's see if I can get out of here. Whoa, camera. So I'm going to get this thing, and then there's a pillar thing over there that I was going to... It's kind of awkward to like get on your dragon and get off to go collect these things because the dragon doesn't like follow you. There we go. Hit A. This is a curious phenomenon, the only kind in the valleys. The old histories tell that it appeared after one of the great quakes. Some say it was a warning to the sky riders that they should flee uneaten. Okay, well, I got that. No, I didn't want to hit the button again. Oh. No. So I'm going to walk this way. I see another. So now that I know that, you got to get off your bird, dragon, to collect the good stuff. And yeah, the armor, that thing didn't get checked off. I don't know what this, I got an achievement, history buff, number one, find a history marker. So yeah, all the achievements are get the history things, get the gems, there's supposed to be some kind of time, time trial flying, uh, you know, things. You got to fly through like rings or something maybe. I didn't get that far yet. I got to go find one of those. But if the <laughs> running was a little bit better, maybe a little bit faster, and the controls are better, and you can like instantly just get on your dragon. You don't have to like summon it to the ground. I don't know. I, I don't think it would be so bad. So yeah, clearly low budget, not made by a big team. Designed to be low budget. Let's see, where's my... There he is. Alright, let's take off. Let's see what else we can find, but... No, don't crash into the ground, dude. Ah! a lot of wind coming from over here so let's see let's see what's going on oh crashing into the ground because of the bad control I mean as as cheap as the art style is I kind of like it if I'm being honest like 
you know, it doesn't need to be. Let's see. All right, let's get off and grab. What is this thing here? Dragon Rider, prove your world. Oh, here we go. Fly swift and through through yonder rings and earn a boon for your winged steed. You have to fly through the first ring to start the race, but you only have so much time to finish. Good luck. Let's see if I can get up there and do one race quick. X, A to jump high, get on the bird. I don't see the ring. Where is the ring? Wait, I saw it. I'm doing flips. I'm doing crazy flips. There's the ring. All right, if I can just get acclimated to like... Oh, see, this wind is pushing me up there. That's what's jacking me up. All right, come on, just straighten out, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out. Let's see if I can do this. Just get to the... This is like Superman 64. That's a great comparison. There you go. Okay. All right, here we go. One of eight. Let's see the camera. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, because if you miss one ring, there ain't no way you're turning around. Up. This is the tank of the sky. Okay, okay, okay. Down, 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 No, oh, I'm stuck on the wall, I'm stuck on the wall, I'm stuck, no, 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 I'm stuck on the hill wall. Turn, 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 turn. No, 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 no. Damn it. This is... Ah! Come on, dude. Here we go. All right, all right. Uh, no, whoa. I hit this click button and I turned on picture mode. I don't want picture mode. All right, down. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Nice, and you got to level out. You got to, like, you got to cut it early. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Oh, I got it. I got an achievement. All right. Ring racer, 40 points. Finish one ring race. So, yeah, then if you, as I accidentally <laughs> did before, if you click this button, you can do a, you can move the camera around and you can adjust the time of day and, like, take a picture, I guess, if you want. So adjust your f-stops, your focal distance, your brightness here. But we're not going to do that right now. I see a pink thing over there, but... Yeah, so just wanted to quickly demonstrate some of the gameplay. This is Ari and the Crystal Comet. You can check me out at mygamer.com. Squallsaint.com is my personal blog. And on Twitter, at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. And until next time, thank you for watching and game on.